In this video, we're going to be working on an iPad 6 that came in for no power. Customer said, not turning on or charging. Zero amps with OEM battery and 0.45 amps with a new battery. Motherboard is very hot as well. So heat is an indication that there is a short somewhere on the board. Now, what I did is I tried our own battery just to make sure that it's not a battery issue. I want to eliminate the fact that it could be a battery issue. So even if the customer tried two batteries, I still try our own battery. I tried it and still the same issue. When we plug the meter in, battery is drawing 0.48 amps and 0.48 is not normal. Tablet should be drawing around 0 0.98, 0 0.99, one amps or even more, but 0 0.45 is not good or 0 0.48. So I have the cable plugged in. And if we look at the amp meter here, the battery is currently disconnected. And with a disconnected battery, we have zero amps being drawn by the meter. And if we connect the battery, so I'm going to remove the separator between the battery and the board, 0 0.47. Now, I've, I've had a similar reading, 0 0.48 amps right there, 0 0.48. I had a similar reading on iPad Pro 12.9 tablets where we had a short on the board. So anytime I see 0 0.48 or anything in the 40s on the reading, I know there's a short on the board. So immediately, I'm going to go to our thermal cam and see if we can figure out what's going on. Today is a sad day for our thermal cam because the adapter that connects to our boom stand here broke off. So I'm going to have to do it by hand. Uh, it's going to be very difficult to aim it by hand and pinpoint where the short is coming from. But what can you do? So let's go over to the thermal cam. And uh, right there, right off the bat, I see something hot on the board. Look at this. I see something hot on the board. So I know we have a short somewhere. I want to pinpoint where heat is coming from. So let me go to manual mode. So I want to put the tweezer on top of the component while holding the thermal cam in the other hand. Okay, let's keep the tweezers on that component and go to our microscope. It's either this or this. If I were to guess, it's this, because this one looks discolored, this cap right here. So I'm going to assume it's this cap. We have a lot of caps here. But heat, based on where I pointed the tweezers under the thermal cam, it's between those two. OK, let's see if we have a short. Yep, we do have a short. So let's start with this one. This one looks discolored. Maybe I can use hot tweezers along with hot air. Before I do so, let me remove the battery. I do not want to burn the battery, which is right over here. Okay, battery is out. And now we can work safely. I mean, it's obvious that it's discolored. Obvious. So hopefully it's this one. If the thermal cam was steady and I was not holding it by hand, then I could truly pinpoint 100% to that component. Look at this, it's out. So with the help of hot tweezers and hot air, we were able to get it out without affecting other components on the board. And now, red probe on ground. And... Short is gone. Look at this, the short is gone. That's it. Let's see if the iPad is able to charge normally now. I put the battery back inside the tablet and press and hold on the battery connector. And look at this. I do not know if the camera is in focus. It's currently charging at one amp. Perfect. Fixed. Job is done. Let me connect the screen to make sure. Right there, right there. Tablet is working. 
We don't have the digitizer, so we're not going to be able to test the touch, but uh, tablet came in for no power and it's done. Okay, that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, leave a comment if you have any questions, and we'll do something else in the next video.